Hi there, and welcome to Rome, probably the most historical city of Europe. And we are now standing in one of the most iconic squares, uh, the Piazza di San Pietro, which is the entrance of Vatican City. And uh, I would love to show the rest of, of the city to you. So let's go. Before entering the Vatican City and its magnificent St. Peter's Basilica, let's discover more of Rome first. Following the Tiber, a first eye-catching attraction is this Castel Sant'Angelo. It was initially commissioned by the Roman Emperor Hadrian as a mausoleum for himself and his family and later used by the popes as a fortress and castle. Can you believe that this castle used to be the tallest building in Rome? The boulevard, running from the castle towards Vatican City, is a popular place for street musicians. And when somebody plays a Bob Marley song, you just have to stop and listen. Heading further into the historical center of Rome, you will cross the famous Ponte Umberto Bridge. The bridge offers a wonderful view over the Tiber, as well as the Palazzo di Giustizia, the Palace of Justice. The impressive building is popularly called the Palazzaccio, which means the Bad Palace. Now we're talking. You're now standing on the square called Piazza della Rotonda. But the real eye catcher here is the building in front of you with the large pillars. I'm sure you recognize it. The Pantheon is a former Roman temple, but it is now used as a church. It's one of the best preserved buildings from ancient Rome because it has been used extensively throughout history. Let's take a look inside. The Pantheon is a former Roman temple, now a church, on the site of an earlier temple commissioned by Marcus Agrippa during the reign of Augustus, 27 BC till 14 AD. Almost 2000 years after it was built, the Pantheon's dome is still the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. Right now we're at Fontana di Trevi, the world's most famous fountain. As you can see, it's absolutely crowded with tourists. People throw coins in the fountain for good luck or to be granted wishes. It is said that around 3000 euros are being thrown in this fountain every single day. They say the money is used to keep a local supermarket running. Let's head over to another famous square, Piazza di Spagna, 